pale flaming ones, I descend in the fiery old void of God, and I come into your midst to deliver the mandate of the law of being. I come to deliver the scroll of the law of life for each individual soul upon Terra. I come to represent the flame of the Holy Spirit and the edict of Alpha and Omega that every man, every woman should bear his burden. So then the scroll is given unto the soul at the hand of the Christ self. And every soul shall know that there is an accounting and there are accounts that must be settled in this year and in the years to come. So it is like receiving the bill for services rendered, except this is the accounting of service that you have failed to render. And so you will have an itemized bill, point by point, the steps of the law, that you then can go about balancing, paying unto the last farthing, the energy that is due your own I am presence. Cheer up, precious hearts. It is not as bad as it may seem. For you see, at least you know where you stand when you receive this accounting. And every so often, the angel of the Lord, the keeper of the scrolls, requires that mankind be notified of the status of their account. And therefore, you can go about invoking the energy to pay off each item that is listed. And you'll find that the goal can be reached, for the list is finite, and you are an infinite being. Is anything too hard for the infinite one? It simply requires the spiraling through the hourglass of cycles of the energies necessary for the full payment. And when you have paid, you will find a freedom a freedom in the archangels, a freedom to move with Uriel, a freedom to be present in the courts of the sacred fire and in certain retreats of the brotherhood, and the acceleration of preparation for entering in to the ritual of the ascension. Now then, look forward to this opportunity and understand that day by day, you will win. And so I am come also for the release of the energies of the cosmic Christ and of Jesus our Lord. For peace to reign, for the Christ to reign. And there is taking place now an adjustment of cycles in Terra, an alignment into the fiery core. And all is being prepared for the release of the Ancient of Days unto the Lord of the World. Now, my angels, mark the formation of the V. And they stand in V formation from this point. And another legion makes the V formation in the opposite direction. The interlaced Vs then are completed as each V becomes the triangle and the triangle forming the six-pointed star. Victory in the hour is the proclamation 
of the angelic hosts serving the Christ. Victory this hour for the Christed ones. So the edict of the Lord rings clear. So in each year, as the year begins, there are certain judgments rendered, certain dispensations given, and certain dispensations taken away. And mankind, who understand that the very hairs of their heads are numbered, must come to understand that the very days of their lives are also numbered. And each year there is the searching of the records by the keeper of the scrolls to see how each individual soul has merited an increase or a demerit, a decrease of the allotment of the span of life. You are indeed co-creators with God, and you make your life what you will. descent of sacred fire from the great central sun, a sealing action of terror, multiplied by your momentum of service and your invocations as you have raised your hands in the victory sign. So millions of angels have joined you this night to seal terror in the flame of the Prince of Peace. So that action is the final attempt of hierarchy to turn the tide of aggression in the Middle East. And I say, woe to the unrighteous generation. Woe to those who carry war and hatred in their hearts. Woe to the seed of Abraham that in this hour have pitted themselves one against the other, I say. Now the release of the ring of fire for containment. So the Lord God releases the energy for the containment of the karma of these laggard souls within their own boundaries. So according to your application, it is the will of God that you shall decree for the containment of that energy. Blaze forth the light of the Prince of Peace into the Middle East. Seal that force field. Seal it in the fire of the Elohim. Blaze forth the fire of judgment. Blaze forth the light. Is the light of the mighty Elohim, so let the hearts of all mankind unite in the challenge of that Antichrist force field. Blaze forth the light, seal the action by the sacred fire. In the name of the Christ, I, Uriel, demand the severing of the flow of energy and supplies from all other nations upon the planet. I demand the cutting off of those energies from world powers contributing to world conflagration. So let war cease in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Prince of Peace. God is neither for nor against mankind, for God is no respecter of persons. God stands in the flaming presence of the fire of harmony on Horeb's height. Let all who will place themselves outside of harmony 
then receive the return action of the energy which they send forth. So is judgment rendered, so let the keepers of the flame invoke light for that containment action. So then set your mark on peace and the star of the Prince of Peace over the Jerusalem, over the place where these very souls can bring forth in brotherhood and in love the wisdom of the law of the ages and the light of Abraham and the light of the prophets and of all who have walked there in fulfillment of the law of God. So now, cosmic beings come to strip them of their momentums of strife. Blaze forth the light. Blaze forth the light. Blaze forth the light. So be it. They must by their free will absorb that light. So mankind still have free will. And the law of God and the voice of God has gone as far as it can go in a containment action. The rest is up to each soul concerned with conflict. And to every soul upon the planet who by the authority of God has the right to challenge the Antichrist wherever it is manifest, whether in the Middle East or in any nation upon earth, so that which is against the light is against the light in you. I say then, by the authority of the lords of karma, challenge that beast that ascendeth out of the earth and the beast that ascended out of the sea. So let the perversion of the plains of water and earth now be reversed, now be driven back and consumed in the sacred fire. So let it be done, so let it be written, so let keepers of the flame implement the will of God for and on behalf of the age. I am the victory of peace. Peace unto terror. Peace unto all and to all. The light of new beginnings.